Hey, what's going on everybody? At it, what I have for you all today is going to be another Black Ops 2 gameplay. What you're watching right now is a 14 3 team deathmatch all map cargo using the SWAT 556. And today I actually want to talk a little bit about the map, but let's first off talk a little bit about the class that I'm using right now. So, like I said, I'm using the SWAT 556, the first burst assault rifle that you unlock in Black Ops 2. And the reason why I'm actually using an assault rifle on this map is because cargo is quite the large map, just like Turbine. So, what I definitely suggest you all to use is an assault rifle instead of an SMG. Because because in this game it kind of seems like a key thing, small maps, SMG, shotgun, long maps, assault rifles, snipers and LMG and that's just the way this game works, that's the way that I've experienced this game so far. And the SWAT 556 is just a gun that I really enjoy, but you can of course switch the SWAT 556 for something like an MTAR or Type 25 if those assault rifles are more something for you to use because you feel more comfortable using it. And that's kind of the thing that you always keep in mind, you should not listen to me, if I use a SWAT 556 it doesn't mean you should also use a SWAT 556, if you feel more comfortable with a Type 25 then you should definitely go for the Type 25, which you're most likely going to do better with that gun than you are going to do with the SWAT 556. So, what I'm using on this gun right now is the reflex sight, simply to have a bit more of an accurate shot, and the quick draw handle simply because this is a burst assault rifle, and kind of what I usually try to do with burst assault rifles is I try to get those first two or three bullets on target, because that way I'll be able to get the kill more easily, because if I actually miss those first two or three bullets, I'm probably gonna lose a gunfight to something uh, like a Type 25, because those guns just shoot way faster. Now, of course, on long distance, the SWAT 556 is probably in an advantage to those guns, because it's just way Way more accurate so that's the reason why I personally like the burst assault rifles better uh, than the automatic assault rifles. Now on with the secondary, in this gameplay right here I'm using the B23R and personally I love this secondary, it's very similar to the Refrica from Modern Warfare 2, very powerful and in this gameplay I'm not using any attachments simply because of the fact that I didn't have any points left. Now if you do have some spare points, maybe one or two, I would definitely put extended max on this gun because it only comes with 15 bullets normally and I think it buffs it up to about 30 or dual wild if you kind of want to get those fast kills from close range as well. Now what I kind of try and do with this gun is I try to use the SWAT 5 556 for long range engagements and I use the B23R on short range engagements and you'll actually get to see a bit of gameplay with that as well in about a minute where I get a bit of a streak with the B23R so be sure to take a look at that because the B23R is very very strong for close range engagements. Now the perks that I'm using right now are Hardline which allows you to get your score streaks a bit faster, gives you a 10% bonus. Perk 2, Fast Hands, it allows you to throw your equipment a bit faster and it actually allows you to uh, reset the timer on a frag grenade, actually pick it up now. Personally I've never picked up a frag grenade in this game so far and Dexterity allows you to zoom in a bit faster after sprinting. Now let's talk a little bit about the map. So like I said, Cargo is quite the large map, very similar to Turbine if you ask me, so that's the reason why I'm using the Assault Rifle. But when I also like to call this map is that I like to call this map an interactive map. Now of course I'm not entirely sure where it's actually supposed to be called an interactive map but what I mean is that the free containers in the middle of the map are consistently being repositioned throughout the game by this huge crane and what this does it creates different opportunities for you to find enemies, different opportunities for you to see enemies and different opportunities for you to kill enemies simply because of the fact that it creates different lines of sight. Now what this does it keeps the map fresh because at the start of the map you will have uh, such lines of sight and after about 30 seconds or so you'll have different lines of sound. Now of course another thing you should know about this map that there are three main power positions. One that I'm on right now, uh, one is the container on the other side of the map and the other one is the middle window on the house on the right. Now like I said these are real power positions so you should definitely try them out yourself sometime because they are probably going to get you a few kills. Now another thing you should keep in mind at all times is that everybody knows these spots. Maybe you've already played this map in something like Team Deathmatch and what you see at the start of every single round is you see a few teammates going to these containers where I'm at right now. You will see a few enemies go into the other containers and you will see a few teammates and a few enemies going for the house because like I said everybody knows about these spots, everybody knows that these spots are power positioned because you're gonna get a lot of kills. Now a thing that you should always keep in mind is to just look at these spots every now and then. Maybe I've done it throughout this gameplay, I've looked at those spots and I saw somebody and it just could easily take them out with the SWAT 556 because the assault rivals are really good when you use them on long range engagements. But anyway, that was the end of the gameplay, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot. Another thing, if you have any questions about Black Ops 2 then be sure to leave them in the comments down below, if the question is any good then I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see some of you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.